Yo, welcome back to Daily DJ. This is Trevsky, live from my hotel in Paris. I'm taking you on my journey of going from zero DJ experience to hopefully playing at festivals and making music with my idols. Today, I finally found a power adapter for French outlets. So my laptop now has power again, and I'll start being able to edit these videos again. The past day or so, I didn't have any sort of power outlets at all. Like I couldn't charge my watch, my my phone, my laptop, or anything. So finally got that fixed, and now I can use my laptop again to practice a little bit more. I am going to the NFT Paris conference today. I am a little late, it's already 1 p.m., but I wanted to make sure I got in some practice before I head out because I don't think I'm gonna be back in a decent time later. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting that practice in every day as I have been, even if it's just for 20, 30 minutes a day. I think it's crucial, that's the whole point of the series, is to make sure that I'm practicing on a daily basis. Most days are not gonna have anything amazing happening. Most of the time it's just gonna be me practicing boring, repetitive, foundational types of um, skills. That's why it's amazing that so many of you have chimed in with your thoughts about the series and things that I can improve, things that they like, and just subscribing is amazing for, to me. I started with no DJ experience, no big following, no knowledge really of the space. And the idea is actually catching on. So I really appreciate everyone's views, likes, comments, subscribes, everything. So keep them coming. And I'm gonna strive to continue to provide you guys with better and better content. As I get more knowledgeable of the space, I'm gonna have more enjoyable sets and different things to do. Right now it's more difficult because I'm still learning and I have a ton to learn. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your support. It really means a lot to me. So this is actually something that a viewer brought up. One thing that I want to practice today is keeping the vibe the same throughout a set. They said that good DJs, basically, when they're transitioning between songs, it should sound like the same song. So I know there's different types of DJs, different types of situations, but I really want to explore this idea and see if I can choose five songs that go really well together and transition them so it seems like it's the same song. It's just changing the vibe a little bit. So I've identified a few songs mostly in the big room, main stage genre that I'm gonna practice today. The main goal is just to make sure that the vibe stays the same, that the transitions are seamless, that it sounds like the same song. So with that being said, let's get into it.
the vibe. I thought those five songs mixed really well together for what I've been doing lately. But for some reason, I don't know why, I didn't realize that the filter, that the um, effect knob was on and the uh, I had put the echo on earlier just in case I wanted to fade out. I didn't know it was literally halfway up. So that last transition, you could probably tell it had like an echo to it for sure. And I'm like, wait, why does it sound so weird? It, for some reason, I didn't notice it in my headphones. So I think I'm gonna have to, um, yeah, obviously in this hotel, I don't wanna be too loud, but definitely when I'm performing or something else, I'm definitely gonna switch between the headphones and actually listening to the speakers because there might be something that I miss or it's gonna sound a lot different in headphones versus out through speaker system, which is why monitors are so important, I think, in DJ booths. All in all, I was satisfied with that. Let me know what you guys think of that mix. Again, this was focusing just on keeping the vibe the same and making the transitions more seamless, so it sounded like it was just one long song. That's a viewer feedback, so please send in your feedback, guys. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, what I should be practicing, things that you think I should try out. Anything, for real. It really helps me, and as you can see, I think it's helped me improve a lot since the last set that I did, like the actual set video. This is a long process, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. So I think these minor improvements day after day are gonna be super important and help me get to the point that I want to play out at festivals, making actual music that's my own. Let me know what you guys think. I think that big room slash main stage is something that I really wanna focus on as my main genre. It's just so, I really love music that gets you on your feet energizes you, hypes you up. I listen to Big Room and Melbourne Bounce in the morning when I wake up just to get energized for the day. So something that I really personally connect with and I think that's important to find genres that you personally connect with and you vibe with and you wanna hear yourself. So you're gonna be making the best playlists with the songs that you really enjoy and being able to share those with your listeners and then also knowing how to keep the vibe going because if you're very familiar with that genre and you personally enjoy it, I think you're gonna know how to make the best mixes to keep the vibe going, to energize people, get them on the dance floor, etc. All in all, very satisfying day. I'm gonna head out to NFT Paris now. This was Daily DJ. Keep on that grind, keep on the hustle, keep improving every day. Take care everyone. Have a great week, day, month, year. Let's get it.